welcome back to uh, my channel. Uh, I have day 40 uh, Friday's Favorites and Sales. Uh, I know I haven't done one of these in a while, and I'm about due for one. I'm trying to get back from the and wagon with filming, so I've had a few of you ask me if I was going to continue doing the filming, and yeah, it's, it's a, matter of time, a matter of me finding time and actually sitting down to do it. So, uh, anyway, let me go ahead and get started. I'm going to be filming a small haul either with this video at the end or I'm just going to film a separate video. So if you don't see the haul, it'll be on a separate video because I hadn't decided even starting to film this video if I'm going to include this. So uh, let me share with you some favorites I've been using. I've only gone around to using the Pond Luminous Clean Wet Cleansing Palette. And I must say that I was absolutely impressed by these. I'm still planning on doing the Battle of the Makeup Lights to kind of share with you the different ones I've tried. Um, but yeah, I totally love these. And they did a really, really great job, I will say, of getting a lot of makeup deep down in my skin off. That did not sound right. It did a really great job of getting deep down on my skin and getting just some of the, I guess, some of the impurities off of my skin. I was quite impressed with this. So I used this like two or three times. This is just a little sample pack. I tell it. I've used two, uh, two of these. And you can find this in the dollar section at Target. Um, I'm pretty sure they sell this where all the other makeup wipes are at. I'm probably going to buy a full size version of it. That's not where I am. But, so that's been a definite favorite. We have had such cold weather here in Texas that my skin has been, well, it's Normally dry in the winter time, but I'm still using my Mary Kay Time Wise A20 Moisturizer. This has been a lifesaver. I put this on while I'm putting my eye primer and that kind of thing and give it time to soak in my skin. I'm not sure much this is. I'm guessing it's like around $20. Could be wrong. Uh, I could be wrong. Uh, a friend of mine had sent this to me last year. It's in a three foot ounce. This is for combination oily skin, so if you have any issues with that, I highly recommend you suggest this. My friend, uh, Lori Ann, she sells Mary Kay. I will try to remember to post the link down to her channel. She would be happy to help you with any Mary Kay questions. Mm. I'm still working on a cup of coffee number two, so definitely uh, go check that out. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and throw this on there. This has been a nail polish I recently got at Big Lots, and I think this might have been the first time I've worn it, maybe the second time, and I love it. So I have on my nails right now. This is in simple colors. Uh, it's electric. It's just a really pretty blue nail polish, so I'm going to go ahead and throw this in because it's just a really gorgeous nail polish. Um, I think I paid like a dollar, dollar eighty for it. It's really uh, gorgeous. I don't think I had ever seen this at Walgreens. You may check Walgreens to see if they have this. This might have been part of some kind of special collection. I'm very impressed with their simple shine nail polish. I was kind of impressed with that one, though. Um, another favorite that's not makeup related, I guess, uh, are these earrings. As you guys know, I've been into the whole rainbow loom rubber band bracelet making. There's a couple of the um, more advanced bracelets I've made. This is the carnation. This is the rose garden one. You can go to uh, rainbow loom here on YouTube, type it in, and type these in. Um, and I'm, I'm also teaching some rainbow loom classes in my store. But the thing is, is I've been really getting into it as a hobby, and um, I also make I crocheted this uh, ring while we were in the car running around yesterday, but I've been really into this, so that's what I have. I made these earrings with the loom, so, and then I made these also with some beads. I called this, this is my Valentine's one. I'm still coming up with different ways to make accessories, that kind of thing. These are just little heart um, beads. Uh, I didn't think I'd really be getting into jewelry making, but, I mean, this is a form of it. And I really have been enjoying it, and um, I really love wearing these earrings. So, um, yeah, so I just thought I'd share that with you. I love my earrings uh, now that I figured out how to do it, so thanks to you, do. So, didn't really get into that. Of course, I love these two bracelets. These two are my favorites. Uh, and the cool thing is uh, you can't wash these. You know, of course, they get dirty over time. So, yeah. My husband's been loving the ones I've been making them. Okay, now with the makeup stuff. Alright, I have several products, but not too many. Um, I don't think there's too many. It probably looks like a lot. Well, before I get into that, I just realized I've got two fast products. Um, as you guys know, I am 
a believer in the Tresemme shampoo line, especially the Splint Remedy shampoo. I repurchased this, I think, within the last week or so. Still a Holy Girl shampoo. It does a great job. My hair has come alive. It's been thanking me. It's been so pretty. I started using this is the shampoo, and this is our um, luxurious moisture for dry damage. Uh, this is the conditioner. Love this line. They're leaving conditioner. I forgot to grab. I do have that. Uh, but this also works great with or it, you can use it with or without the Transmade Slip Remedy um, leave-in conditioner. I heard about the Slip Remedy from L'Oreal Beauty Makeup and More. I love this. I mean, oh my gosh. I just finally got tired of using other brands, see what they would do. And this has been the only thing that my parents responded well to. And if you guys can recommend maybe a clarifying shampoo. Uh, it didn't build up on my hair, but um, there's times where, because I work at a craft store, I get glitter in my hair, and, um, you know, of course, I'm, I'm careful to coming out. I want to be able to, you know, wash that out every so often, you know. I mean, I wash my hair every other day, but I want to, is there a clarifying shampoo that I can use if I want to wash my hair every single day and get all the excess the glitter out, basically, other than coming, because I know when I comb my hair, not all it didn't always get out of my hair. I usually find it right around this section. So, anyway, any help, just leave them in the comments below. That means that. Uh, one other thing that's fast related is the Caress Evenly Gorgeous Actually Body Wash. Burnt brown sugar and, oh my God, I'm probably trying to say that word. Got this in the travel section. I've tried this quite a few times. I'm still uh, thinking about going ahead and buying the full size version. Love Caress. I love this one. It does a really good job exfoliating your skin. And I don't have it in front of me, but I have the exfoliating back towel thing that you put on, and you can go like this, and it exfoliates your back really well. That has been keeping my skin from being so dry, so I've been loving this. I'm probably going to pick up the full-size version of this, uh, because I'm starting to, to dwindle down on my back so that's an awesome thing. Um, and I've also been enjoying the Spaceline Healthy Hand and Nail Conditioning Lotion. I still stay by this. This is uh, something I, I use all the time. Um, I think I mentioned it one other time, maybe a couple other times. This is great for keeping your hands moisturized, and it's supposed to help you grow your nails to become stronger. I think that is true. But it's got alpha hydroxy, so if you're allergic to that, do not get this. I found this in the lotion section. I think it was... Maybe three or four dollars, I don't remember, but I love this. And you get quite a bit in this too, so been loving that. One other thing, and I promise I'll get on to the makeup, and I forgot to include this in my favorite beauty products uh, from last year. I don't know why I forgot this, but oh my gosh. I have been stuck on the Alme Gel um, deodorant that is for since the skin. It's supposed to be anti perspirant and a deodorant, that kind of thing. Well, I got to the point where it was just not holding up as well as it used to. So I was on the hunt for something because when I hit 30, it seemed like everything I've touched the owner on wise, like I would get the ones with the perfume, my skin would like. But now that I'm way past 30, after I hit 30, it seemed like my skin just did not like it. I mean, ugh. So I tried this brand out at Kroger, which is where we go grocery shopping at. And it's the Sure brand, last little day, Pure Essence Conditioning Solid. It's time for a in the order with aloe extracts. And I meant to put this in my favorites from last year. But when it showed us, if you've got some the skin like I do, try this. What I love about it is it doesn't irritate my skin, doesn't break me out. I'm not allergic to it by any means. And it lasts all day long. It really does. I mean, I swap it on. I ain't going to worry about it making anything go, you know, no certain way, you know. <laughs> anyway, but I love this stuff. It was like... I want to say between two to three dollars, maybe four. I don't remember, but it's very affordable, and I really, really like it. I only get this one with the aloe extract because I know aloe is really uh, good for your skin. So, um, yeah, I highly recommend this if you're like me and having issues with that um, with the skin in that department. I mean, yeah. Okay. Um, I just wanted. To Making on with it now. You guys know I love, 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 love the Naked Marie palette. Well, I actually did put that down this week and started using my Naked One palette. Um, I actually don't have this on today, believe it or not. I've just been using the holy crap out of this, and I forgot how much I loved it. 
Um, I mean, it's, it's always been a worse, you know, love as far as writing palettes, but I've been using this, like, yesterday I wore Hustle on the Lid, Toast in the Creek. I think I posted an Instagram picture about that. And then the rest of the week I've been using Buck on the Lid, Naked in the Creek. Pretty much what I was sharing with you, my uh, favorite beauty products in 2013. I love this. I've been using this along with the Wet Wild Vanity Palette. In particular, you know, of course, the brown. I hit pan on the brown, and this one I think we can all agree it's brulee. So I've just been using this, these two all week long, with the exception of today. Today I have on the Ammo Palette from Urban Decay. So I've been a really big fan of Urban Decay. But these two are really awesome. I've talked about this in my favorite. Uh, Beauty Rocks 2013, which is probably the last video I put up. Okay, moving on. Um, I really have been enjoying, and I kept the packaging, this little technique, Miracle uh, Complexion Sponge. I meant to get first impressions from all that time that I got dirty. I've already washed it, and it actually does do a really good job of cleaning up, and it looks like this. I've been using it just about every single day. I used one of my simple brushes, and Love that still, the Sunny Ketchup one, but I still find I like this one a lot better. So, um, here's the packaging. If you can find this, I highly recommend you pick it up. It's only six bucks, and a lot cheaper alternative to the Beauty Blender. Which I don't have the Beauty Blender, I know, but that's going to keep me from buying it. Um, mascaras I've been loving. I did one that wrecked open the Max, the Rome London Max Blind Flash Mascara. Love this mascara. I was really surprised. I liked it, and every time I find one from them on clearance from the 75 and off the CVS. I can't find another one, so that's okay. This is an extreme black. I love the brush. It's easy to work with. So if you happen to find this, I don't remember how much I gave where I know it was like $8 probably, right? And I love this. And this does last on me all day. It doesn't flake off that I can tell so far. I've been totally, totally loving this. I have that benefit one I showed you guys. I'm not sure if I shared it with you guys. I, just, I started liking it now. It's just don't care for it. I've also been using the NYC High Definition Volume Mascara. I wasn't sure how I felt about this, but so far I'm liking it um, because sometimes it'll flake, sometimes it won't. I noticed when it flaked, I was using it with that benefit one. That's the only time it flaked, so it's never not to be paired up with that. I love the brush on this. It's not as good as the normal one, but it's still pretty decent. And these two, although they do last on me all day, I don't have issues taking them off at night, which is awesome. Uh, this next product has been saving my lips. This one and the other one. Uh, the CGO Big Old Original Rose Style. My original scent. I'm actually going to go to Bath and Body Works and eventually get another one. Love this. I've been putting this on after I use the Elf Lip Exfoliator. If you haven't got this, you really need this. I know a lot of people like Lush products, but I think this is a, a better and probably cheaper alternative. This is $3 compared to what the Lush products are. And I'll use this and then use this with it. So, I totally love it in those two products this whole week. Um, I've also been using my Elf uh, $1 Eyelid Primer. I've been using the, uh, the uh, Urban Decay uh, Primer Potion, but as I started running out of it, I just grabbed this one. This came with a little kit, uh, make, um, holiday kit from them that I got, so I've been loving that. I forgot how much I love this. Um, two foundations I've been loving. This one's the Rimmel Lacking Finish. I think I might have mentioned this felt a little on the greasy side, but I just, if I put a primer, like a moisturizer on, it's fine. And it's the Lacking Finish Foundation. I got the color in her Of course, I got this at the sale. Love this. This did last for me all day. I did not have an issue with it transferring off. It wore very, very well. Love that. And the new product, I'm going to show this with you guys in the fall. Uh, it's the Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Mousse Foundation. Uh, I got the color in white porcelain. I have this today is day two. I think I might have filmed a first impression of Habit. I will do a video on this if you want to see it. This is on an cap at Ulta. It was $4.99. I had a dollar off coupon. I'm going to more detail in the haul video, but I love the stuff. It's awesome. It's, it's last on me all day, and it doesn't transfer, and it doesn't. It didn't feel like you got heavy foundation on. I've been loving that. Uh, blushes, I've been loving the e.l.f. $2 blush. This is in Shy. This will be in my haul video. It's basically a bigger version of the $1 one. I've also been loving the Sephora Corrector palette. I did check on Sephora. They discontinued this, and this bumped me out because I think this is one of the best uh, concealers for the fact that 
it last time all day. I have a break out over here and I put it on today and I know it's going to last time all day. So, and I've been having a break now. So I'm going to be in. I'm going really fast because I'm not going to be too long. I've been using back and forth my Stay Matte Press Powder and I've also been using some of my other girl products, the uh, Multitasking Face Powder. I'm loving these. I think they're both great. If you can't afford this, get this. It's like five bucks, but still. Awesome, awesome product. They both last on me all day. They don't cake up. They just give me a flawless finish, and I really love the way my skin looks. Bronzers, I've been using this for contouring. I finally got around to use this for when you wet your brush. And this is the Physicians for a Baked Bronzer in number 8E Baked Tan. This works really well for contouring. It's a beautiful bronzer. It works great both dry or wet. I think I like it better wet, though, and it's just beautiful. So I got to set the 75% off sale. There's some packaging because you're looking for it. And then for highlight, of course, I've been using my Reserve Your Cabana from Wet Wild. And let me now hit my your pan on that one. Um, I've been using uh, Wet Wild Relay quite a bit. Um, it, I'm just going to leave it like that. I've been using that along with... What's in that went involved in any palette, but sometimes I'll grab it if I'm if I'm going for a shimmery eye look, I've been using it back and forth. Um I mean this is any time, any kind of look, so I just thought I'd throw that in there. Because I haven't reached it for this full term this week. Um, I finally decided to take a break from using my Pavy Brow pencil and rope open my brand new never used NYC brow powder. And I've used this before and I still love it. This is in number eight fifty six Burnett. I've been totally loving this. I've been using it with a eyeliner brush from what is this? Forever Twenty One. Love this. This does last on me all day. I don't set it with the clear mascara. I don't use the wax stuff. This is like what three bucks probably at the drugstore. So I've been loving that combo. Uh, let me go ahead and get on with the lip products, and I will let you guys go. I've been loving this um, Mac lipstick and faux. Um, I was going to go into Mac yesterday, but I didn't find the exact lipstick I wanted to find here in, but they didn't have it, so. But I've been using this one, so this is in satin finish. I don't have it on today. Uh, I've been going back to this because it says last on me most of the day, and I don't have to really. And I told, probably if I'm working all day at work, I've got to reapply it once. It's really, really nice. Love it. And I've also been enjoying this. It wants to be great last, uh, like a six hour lipstick, number 440 creamy caramel. This is going to be in the fall. I'm going to film right after this. Love this. I have this on today. It's just a really pretty neutral color, and I'm in pairing it with these two. Uh, the MAC lipstick, um, and so I'm going to show you the ones I've been pairing it with. These are both the NYC Honey, Honey on the Hudson Lip Gloss, and New York City. I've been pairing these two with these two this week, so. Now, I'm so sorry I went through really quickly. Um, but yeah, those are my favorites from the week. Uh, I do have a couple of fails I must tell you about. One of them is this Kroger brand oil free eye makeup remover. I have decided I hate this stuff. I'm probably going to give this to a neighbor and let her try it. Who's getting into makeup? So yeah. I thought I liked it, but mm -mm. It just, I think it irritates my eyes. So I'm not liking that. This, hate me if you will. Can't do nothing about it. I got this. I'm actually going to return it to CBS and exchange it for some else. My friend Ashley, Texas Mommy Boys, had highly recommended this. And I think this is in her Best of Beauty uh, from 2013. But I don't like it because I got no. I'm not even trying to open it. Uh, this is the CoverGirl Peekers Blush and True Plum. Um, she had uh, asked actually her to see if this is the one she was talking about. I got it home. I was super excited about trying it and I got no pigmentation. If I got anything, I got very little from it, and you have to, like, really dig in there. So, if you see this, mm, caution, because I got nothing. Actually, I know you're watching this video. I'm sorry. I do not like this. I, there's very few CoverGirl products I like, and this is one of them. So, this is just going to go back, and I'm going to exchange it for something else. Um, there was another fail, and I'm trying to think off the top of my head what it was. Um... Okay, apparently I don't have it for me. Anyway, that's my Friday favorites and my fails. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.